Hello everyone, so here I'm gonna um, teach you a little trick on uh, how to uh, manipulate your character from a custom uh, gravity point. So here um, I'm on the character called uh, Elise, I'm gonna make a new animation, uh, let's call it flip, okay. And uh, let's say I want to make a, a little ball. With this character so like this not the not the best um ball position but okay mm, i'm gonna keep this leg like this okay and um now imagine i i want to rotate this so of course if i make this kind of rotate it's not interesting at all i can try it like uh, let's create a new key um let's say there i'm gonna rotate this like so okay make another keyframe okay and let's look this okay super cool so if i want to rotate out of this point i could um pick up each of my points Okay, and try to rotate like this. So basically, I should rotate around this point. But the fact that um, I have some interpolations between a few keyframes makes it quite um, bad. So, if I want to do this um, properly, what I would do is uh, create another point so um, it can be under the root or uh, if you want to um, uh, attach the root to it later you can make it a uh, another uh, root joint of your character it's up to you so i'm gonna create a child of my root so um, i'm going in rigging mode in bind pose and i will create a simple uh, joint here at the center of the grid okay Let's call this one um, um, control fly, okay, because I'm gonna use it to make the character fly where I want. And now let's go back in animation. Do you want to add blah 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 blah? Yes, I want. Then um, what I will need to do is simply put this new joint, okay, where I want to uh, have my center of rotation. So let's say I want to rotate from here. Okay, and then I want to attach this to this joint. So usually what you do is click there and, and it's not available. So first of all, you need to enable this joint as a uh, space switchable element. Sorry for this. Okay. Go back in a rig mode, bind pose, and just activate the little link next uh, to this joint. So now I can switch to control fly, OK. And then if I rotate from this point, it will turn the wall character. So the movement is uh, much nicer. And then each time I will uh, rotate this, like so, OK. Up. Since it's only this joint who really rotates, this one does not rotate at all. It just follows what this joint does. But inside of this joint, this one doesn't move. If you look at the transforms, you can see that. Transform stays still. But the control fly itself changes its rotation. So I can achieve a pretty nice rotate like this. Okay, so that's it for this little um, quick tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.